Hello, hello, everybody. This is Garrett, Tears to Joy Ministries dot org, and praise God for you. You can probably tell that I'm talking a little bit quietly. The reason why is my dad and my brother are home today, and this video is gonna be about a very serious topic, a very important topic. This is going to be about a nasty topic. This is going to be about a filthy topic. This video is going to be about a very twisted sexual demon. There is a demon out there Oh, yes, there is. This demon hides in the shadows. And very, very few people on earth know about this demon. I have never seen another Christian talk about this demon. I've never seen another Christian make a video about him. I've never seen an article about this demon. I have never even heard of this demon in my entire life. So guess what? God is going to use me, yes, little old Garrett here, to start to expose this demon to the Christian world. God is going to use me to write articles about him, to make videos about him, to share things about this demon on the internet. And, well, what can I say? Lucky me. Now, let me give you a warning. This is a serious warning. You better listen up. This video is going to have some X-rated type of language in it. The video has to have a little bit because this demon is a twisted sexual demon. So to talk about this demon, to warn people about this demon, to share with you about this demon, and to expose some light on this demon, I've got to share with you what this demon does. I got to tell you how he operates. I got to point out to you how he tortures people. And because of all of this, I've got to warn you ahead of time that this video is going to have some triple X rated language. So, if you get embarrassed easily, Ask God if he even wants you to watch this. Or if you get offended easily, ask God first if he even wants you to study this, this video. And either way, I praise God for you. And I love you, brothers and sisters, very, very much. Let's get started. Chapter 1 is called Hiding in the Shadows. I have no idea what this demon is truly called. Maybe God will tell me, maybe not. So I have named this demon a twisted sexual demon. This demon is hiding inside of people all over the world. Yes, this type of demon is worldwide. This type of demon is living in people from every country, every city, every town, every single village, and most likely every island too. This twisted sexual demon most likely lives in the throat of a person. This demon's mouth is literally inside the mouth of the poor man or woman that he's tormenting. 
Now, I am not saying the entire demon is inside of the mouth of the man or woman. But what I am saying is that the mouth of the demon himself is also inside the mouth or the throat area of the man or woman that the demon is living in. And since nobody, and I mean nobody, is exposing this demon, since nobody is talking about this demon, since most people in the world have never even heard of this demon, this twisted sexual demon, I mean, he has been operating in secret worldwide for centuries and centuries. And when a demon can remain hidden, when a demon can remain hiding in the shadows, he rarely, rarely ever gets kicked out of a person. As long as a demon can remain hidden in a man or woman, that demon could possibly live in that person their entire life. That's, of course, unless Jesus kicks him out. One of the most powerful ways of kicking a demon out of yourself or out of other people is by simply exposing that he's real. When you expose that the demon is real, it's like shining the light of Christ on him. And usually speaking, when you start to expose the demon, when you start to talk about the demon, normally he gets a little weaker and a little weaker, and quite often he just leaves. Yes, just exposing the demon publicly or out loud or telling people about him or thinking about him makes him weaker and weaker and many times he'll just simply leave. That's how important it is to talk about this demon. Okay, chapter two. What does this demon do? Okay, here we go. This is a twisted sexual type of demon of lust. So this demon's category would most likely be as a twisted demon of lust. But this demon operates a tiny bit differently than many other kinds of demons of lust. Not only is this demon lusting inside of you, pushing you to lust, causing you to lust more, encouraging you to lust. No, no, no. This demon does much more than that, unfortunately, for the poor man or woman that he's living in. This type of sexual demon is lusting after a man's semen. When a man has an orgasm, this demon wants to taste it, this demon wants to eat it, and this demon wants to swallow the liquid. And this demon is lusting incredibly after the sexual fluids of men and women all over the entire world. This type of twisted sexual demon is craving. Yes, he is craving the cum that comes out of men and women when they have an orgasm. Now, child of God, if you do not believe me, if you do not believe this topic, if you do not believe this demon is real, it's perfectly okay. I love you. I love you and I praise God for you. But this type of twisted sexual demon is very, very real. 
and he is worldwide. This demon is worldwide living in men, living in women, and he is living in millions upon tens of millions of teenagers all over the world. This type of twisted sexual demon is not only lusting after the sexual flu fluids of men and women, this demon is not only craving for these liquids, but this demon is literally freaking out inside of you to taste it, to eat it, and to swallow those sexual fluids as much and as often as he possibly can. Now check this out. How can this demon taste, eat, and swallow that come from men and women? How can this demon eat it? How can this demon swallow it? This type of sexual demon has to enter into a man or a woman and put his throat inside the throat of the man or woman that he is living in. But that is not nearly enough. No, no, no. Now the demon will push the man or woman. They will encourage them. They will compel them. They will tempt the man or woman to start meeting with other men and women to have sex with. Now listen carefully. For the sake of keeping this video as simple as possible, I'm only going to speak from a man's perspective from now on. But do not be fooled. This type of twisted sexual demon does the exact same thing with tens and tens of millions of women worldwide and with lesbian women too. So this demon has to enter a man and position himself in the man so his throat is in the man's throat too. And this demon and his demonic friends will start to tempt this man in very, very nasty sexual types of torment. This demon will start to encourage, push, motivate, and compel this man with a brand new interest in other men or women, this man will now start to get a new interest in the sexual parts of other men. This type of twisted demon will now start to plant nasty sexual thoughts into the man's mind. Thoughts of other men, thoughts of their penis, thoughts of having sex with them, thoughts of tasting another man's sexual fluids, thoughts of swallowing another man's cum while they're having sex. And this twisted sexual demon will, if possible, compel this man 24 hours a day to try to find other men and women to have sex with. Or if not full-blown sex, at least to have oral sex with. That way, this demon can taste the man's sexual fluids. This demon can eat it. This demon can swallow it. Now, let me make something clear. This demon can compel men to want to taste and swallow a man's sexual fluids, but he also compels men to want to taste and swallow a woman's sexual fluids. 
I'm not talking about a homosexual demon here. I'm talking about a twisted sexual demon that wants to taste and eat and swallow sexual fluids of men or women. But I'm just going to speak from a man's perspective, just to keep it simple here. I pray that those of you who have ears will hear in the name of Jesus Christ. If you got ears to hear, hear this. Chapter 3. The Demon in Operation. Is this type of demon real? Can I give you hardcore evidence this demon is real? I believe with God's help, I can easily do it. There are potentially millions of men in the world who are living a homosexual lifestyle. Many of these men love to swallow the sexual fluids of other men. Yes, they love to swallow the cum. They want to swallow it. They need to swallow it. They crave it. They, they are craving all day long to go have a date tonight with another man or woman to taste their sexual fluids. They are craving it. When these men were younger, most of them, if not almost all of them, would never ever think of doing this. In fact, just thinking about it would have made most of those men sick to their stomachs when they were younger. Most of these men when they were younger never thought about having sex with a man. They never even imagined having sex with a man. It's disgusting to us men to do that. Most of these men, when they were a little younger, never in a million years would they ever think about swallowing a man's sexual fluids. Never. But then something happens to them. Something happens to these poor men and women, something changes the way that they think. Something changes the way they imagine now. Something changes their sexuality and what they're sexually attracted to. Something is changing it. So let's talk about that. Something happened to these men to start to give them a brand new interest in the male penis. A brand new interest in tasting a man's sexual fluids. Something inside of them is giving them a brand new craving to swallow a man's or woman's sexual fluids. Remember everyone, there are tens and tens and hundreds of millions of women who are attacked by this also. All of the sudden, like out of thin air, a man will start to think about another man's penis. He will start to imagining doing oral sex on a man. He'll start to imagine tasting it and swallowing it. And children of God, this is not happening because of magic. This is happening because this twisted sexual type of demon is real. He is real and we got to talk about this. We got to make videos about this. We got to share about this so we can expose this evil. I'm warning you people, this demon is real. Now, out of nowhere, the teenagers, the young men, the middle-aged men, and yes, even old men, 
even men in their 70s are getting a brand new interest in the male penis, in tasting the sexual fluids on men or women. And this is so worldwide. This is spread all over the globe. This happens in prisons and jails all over the world where men and women are turned gay or they're turned bisexual. This is happening among millions and even tens and tens of millions of teenagers all over the world who brag about tasting that girl, who brag about swallowing the cum from men, who talk about it, brag about it. They do it in videos. They're doing it in porn videos. It's everywhere. It's flooded the world. This is a demonic and fleshly attack. The child of God didn't want to think of men. The Christian man didn't want to imagine, to imagine having sex with men. He didn't want to think of a man's penis. The Christian teenager or the Christian man didn't want to think of tasting another man's sexual fluids. No child of God wants to think about that. No child of God wants to imagine that. No child of God wants to do that. Yet there are millions and millions of men and women who are being attacked by this very specific evil. The problem is this kind of attack this kind of temptation, this kind of tormenting is so personal, so embarrassing, so shameful, and so filthy. Nobody is talking about it. Nobody. Nobody is talking about this. This is a very nasty, filthy type of a demon. This demon gets inside of you and he wants to taste the sexual fluids. He needs to taste it. He is craving to, ta to taste it. This demon is lusting and lusting inside of you and you have no idea what's wrong with you. You have no idea why these bad thoughts are coming. You have no idea why you are lusting after this very nasty sexual fluid. Well, now you know. This demon is craving and craving to get you to have sex with a man or woman so he can get you to put your mouth on their private parts and taste it and eat it and swallow it. This demon can attack you so strongly that the thoughts of tasting it, the thoughts of eating it, the thoughts of swallowing it can attack you 24 hours a day nonstop, even while you're sleeping. Even when you wake up in the middle of the night because you need a drink of water because you had a bad dream and you just wake up, you immediately are craving to swallow this. But that's not enough. The attacks can get even worse. This poor man, remember it's women too. This poor man can get attacked even worse and he can start contacting strangers on the internet. Do Christians do this? Oh my gosh, you better believe they do. All over the world they are. This poor man could start contacting strangers on the internet to have some very quick sex with them at their house or at a hotel room or even in the car. 
This poor man can get attacked so badly that he might even start contacting strangers to have oral sex in the car in the Walmart parking lot where they hook up at. This attack can get so bad the man could be craving the sexual fluids of a man or a woman so bad, so terrible, that the man could start shaking inside because of the lust. He will literally be shaking inside as if he just drank five cups of coffee. But the attacks can get even worse. This Christian man under attack can get attacked so badly that he'll start to offer strangers, men on the internet or men in his own town, a small amount of money just so he could do oral sex on them, so he can taste it, so he can swallow it. The man will even pay. Now these attacks can get even much, much worse than this. Unless, of course, Jesus stops it or unless Jesus tones down the attacks. Now, here's some really, really sad news. These twisted sexual types of demons can lust even more. They can push the man or woman they can push the man and encourage the man and compel that man, demonically speaking. They can demonically compel that man to taste his own cum. The demons are attacking the poor man now so badly that he puts his own sexual fluids in his own mouth to taste it and swallow it. The attacks can even get worse. When the attacks get worse, now the poor man, this Christian man who's under attack, is swallowing his own sexual fluids on a semi-regular basis. Check this out. The attacks can get even worse. The attacks can get worse to where the man is now growling. Yes, he's growling and moaning to taste his own cum. When this happens, this is that twisted sexual demon growling inside of the man. Or in other words, the demon is growling like a wild animal to taste and swallow more and more of the liquid. And because the demon is growling, because the demon is moaning to taste it and swallow it, now the man is growling. Now the man is moaning too. There are thousands upon thousands of videos on the internet of people tasting and swallowing their own sexual fluids. This is a worldwide problem from Russia to the USA, from Germany to China and everywhere else in between, from, Bra from Brazil to the Philippines, Israel and all the Middle East. This is a real demon. This is a real fleshly demonic attack. It doesn't really matter if you believe me or not because it's still real. And someone needs to talk about this. Someone needs to write about this. Someone needs to teach about this. And praise God He's using Tears to Joy Ministries 
to spearhead this. Praise God. I know of a woman who runs a huge website. The website is all about encouraging other men and women to swallow cum. The website is very popular. This woman loves to swallow the sexual fluids and she is teaching other women and even men all about the so-called advantages of swallowing these sexual fluids. There are millions of women who love, who crave, who have to. They have to swallow a man or a woman's sexual fluids. They have to. They got to get it as much as they can. And no one is teaching them that there's a demon behind this. And no one is telling them the truth. This is a very, very twisted sexual demon. Chapter 4 is entitled Darkness. This is a very, very short chapter. It's about pride. There are Christians all over the world who actually think that this could never happen to them. Brothers and sisters, if you think that, your pride is so out of control, you were already deceived. There are Christians out there who think, who actually think that Jesus would never allow this to happen to his children? Wow. If you believe that, your theology is so bad, you're already deceived. I know of Christians who told me that they could never be turned gay. And there are millions of Christians out there who would swear to you, they would tell you, they would state to you publicly that they would never, ever, ever swallow a man's sexual fluids. But you know what? All that is is pride. All that is is ego. That right there is pride at its very best. That is pure evil and darkness living deep inside of those Christians. The incredible Christian music artist Dennis Jernigan got turned gay. And he battled this for years and years and years of his life. The incredible Christian singer Tone got turned gay. Who do you think you are, child of God, to state out loud that this could never happen to you? Who do you think you are? Okay, to finish up this video, so what can a child of God do? Well, we have huge articles all about what we can do when we fall under these types of demonic attacks. And the articles are all over our website. So to finish up this video, we're not going to go into that. It's all over our website, but we do got to give a short answer. So here's a short answer, what you can do if you're under attack from all different kinds of demons of lust. Number one, humble yourself. Stay in contact with Jesus. Um, try to pray whatever amount you possibly can during these terrible attacks. Try to remember that 
during these terrible attacks, during these filthy, nasty attacks, God still loves you. God loves you. Try to remember during these terrible attacks that Jesus is with you and he is never, ever going to leave you. Not ever. During these terrible, nasty attacks, let all the shame that you're feeling go. Let all the condemnation you're feeling go. Let all of those feelings of being guilty, let it all leave you immediately. God is not shaming you. God is not condemning you. And God is not holding you guilty. Why? Why, you may ask? All because of the blood of his son Jesus that is covering you. And because the righteousness of Jesus Christ is covering you like a beautiful robe. God sees Jesus in you. And last but not least, humble yourself. Humble yourself day and night. Humble yourself. I pray for those of you who have ears to hear, hear what the Spirit is saying here in this video. Hear it, learn it, meditate on it, and spread the word. Spread the word so God can use you to help people. So God can use you to help people all over the world who are suffering under this twisted, sexual, demonic attack. This is a worldwide problem. And I pray God is going to use you to help somebody. I love you.